What up y'all, gonna be showing you how to play Persona 5 The Phantom X on your Apple Silicon Mac, meaning any Mac with the M series chip in it. If you have an Intel Mac, I would just Google how to use Bootcamp and then play the native Windows Steam version. So what we're gonna be using is Bluestacks Air, which will let us run the Android version of the game on our Macs. Unfortunately, as of time of recording, I cannot get play cover or crossover to run the game. If you don't know what those are, play cover basically lets you run iOS games on your Mac and crossover lets you run PC games on your Mac. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So we're gonna need to download Bluestacks Air, go to the link in the description, It'll bring you here, and then on the left hand side we can click download Bluestacks. Hit allow. Then we can go to our downloads folder and double click the PKG. It's going to run us through the Bluestacks installer. Hit continue, install, type in your computer password if you have one, and then hit close once it's finished. It's going to ask you if you want to move the installer to the trash. It's up to you. Then we can go to our applications, and then find and double click Bluestacks. It's going to show you an intro video showing you what Bluestacks can do. However, there's a couple settings in Bluestacks itself we want to change that's going to improve performance. So on the bottom right, click that settings wheel. Under performance, change CPU and memory allocation to the highest that it'll go. And then hit save changes. It'll make you restart. And then once it's restarted, there's one more thing we want to change. So go back to that settings wheel. And then under display, change it from 1440 to 1080. And save. Restart. And once we're in, we can click the home icon on the top left. Go into the search bar and type in the game. Then we can click it. Click install from Google Play. It'll make us sign into our Google Play account, so sign in. And once we're signed in, we can click install from Google Play. Click install. It booted me to the home screen, but if we look in the upper left, we can see that it is installing. Once it's finished, it'll pop up on your home screen. We can just click it. It'll make you download the required updates. Then it's gonna make you download some more data. Once that's finished, you can click the screen. It's gonna make you pick your country, age, and agree to their terms of service. Hit confirm, hit OK. Then if you want, depending on how powerful your Mac is, you could change some settings. I'll make it to 60 FPS medium. Then let's click to start. So once you get to this part, we're gonna want to add WASD to move. To do that, all you gotta do is go to the right hand side, click the game controls, it looks like a keyboard, and then click controls editor. Take the D-pad and drag it right over the movement. It should be set to WASD. And once we're done with that, click save changes and exit out. Now we should be able to move with WASD. However, we're also going to want to add a jump button. So back to that controls editor, drag the tap spot over here, make it what you want. So when you create it, you can click the button on your keyboard and it'll become that button, or you can click that little icon in the bottom left, click the tap key, and then change it to whatever you want from there. Exit, save, and exit. Now, if you ever wanna see what you have as binds, you can press shift and tab, or under that game controls, toggle the on-screen controls. And there's one more key bind you're gonna want for free look. However, I can't really demonstrate it in this section, so I will wait until I'm later in the tutorial to show you. All right, so once you're here and you're able to free look around, so what we can do is two different options. So first, go back to the controls editor and we can click and drag the aim pan shoot. It's by default set to F1. I would change that to something like right click, hit save and exit. So now you can click and tap everything you want. And then when you want to switch to aim around and look with the mouse, all you do is right click, it'll disappear, and you can quickly switch back and forth. The other way we can do this is go back to that keyboard, controls editor, I'm going to get rid of this, and I'm going to click and drag the free look. Then I'm going to go to settings, mouse, more settings, key, right click, exit, and save, and then exit. So same thing, right click will move the camera, but if I let go of right click, my mouse will come right back. So it just depends whether you want to press and hold the right click or click it once and have your mouse disappear and be able to aim. Anyways, that's about it. You are pretty much good to go from here. If you wanna add more binds, game controls, control editor, 
click and drag the tap spot and change it to whatever you'd like. Anyways, that's about it. If I get it to run through play cover or crossover, I'll either update this video or make a new video, so subscribe for more Mac gaming news and tutorials. And that's about it. See ya.